right. Taking a little quick cruise over the Woodburn drag strip in the old 68 C10 here. Uh, we're going across the uh, Wheatland Ferry, ferry across the Willamette River here. Uh, beautiful afternoon out here. Thursday afternoon after work, trying to rush my way over to the to the drags there. I think they started around four, about five o'clock now, trying to, to get over there. But just kind of give you a little look at what the old Wheatland Ferry looks like and whatnot. Yeah, it costs three bucks to to uh, cruise on over. And then three bucks on the way back. But there should, should be fun. We get to the drags there. Got a buddy of mine on the way over there now. So we get there, we'll hook up with him and we'll make a couple passes in the old girl. Okay, we'll do a little test launch here on the street there before we get over there. Bring her up a little bit here. Woodburn drag strip, like I say, Thursday night drags. First Thursday night drag they've had in years that I'm aware of. Um, and so, I don't know, could be a decent turnout. Looks like a few cars here. Uh, nothing like Saturday, Sunday, but but not bad for a, like a test and tune dredge rate night. So, looks like we got a lot of tuner cars here. Not sure what that's all about, but uh, they, sometimes they do it when they have an event coming up, maybe. They, uh, have an event coming up or something like that. Okay, must be the Mopar drags coming up real quick here because there's a bunch of them here tonight here. Pretty, pretty cool Mopars. You're into that sort of thing, which I am. I like them. Scat back there. Got a CL1 Camaro here. Got uh, one of my favorites here, an old Emmy uh, all-wheel drive control car. Cool. I like it, man. That's good cool. One. I like it. Super. Got another one here. All kinds of cool stuff here. Wood burn tonight. My buddy brought over his Model A. Don't know if he'll run it or not. I'm waiting to get text in. Text in here. Got a like a Hellcat. Okay, Steve's control car. Here he calls it the Hell Pig Red Eye. I like it, man. I like it. How long you had it? Uh, I think I've had it three months now. Right on. Yeah. SRT seats in it. That's SRT, pretty badass. Hellcat ass. seats, Hellcat interior. Got a 392 cam in it. That's the only model. All right, already, huh? Right on. Yeah. Well, it's an old cop car, so it needed a cam. Yeah, yeah, they all do. Right. What the hell? I'll put a 392 cam in it. Did you get over state surplus? Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Love it, man. Yeah, all-wheel drive. The thing launches like a rocket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd that cam wake it up? Yeah, it, it, it's more of a mid-range top-end cam, uh -huh. so it's not really that great out of the hole, but... Right on. I can't complain. Yeah, I've been dying to do one of these, and just timing hasn't done it yet, but... Yeah. I will. Yeah, fun. Cool. Right on. All right, we made our first pass with the old truck, and it didn't go quite the way we wanted to go there. Uh, stalled it up a little bit. It's got a... I don't know, 2400 stall, maybe a little bigger in it. And spun the tires coming out of the hole. And then it kind of fell on its face a little bit. I think we got a little bit of uh, vapor lock possibly going there. And it came back alive a little bit. And it just did, didn't run like it should have. So we'll give it a try here in a little bit and let it cool off. I don't know. Those cars are just plain out badass. You're really doing a good job with them. Got a little clean up on the track over there. One of the others, Joni, Joey, there working. Had a little trouble with our video, um, and this is all we got on the runs for the truck. Well, I couldn't record it while I was uh, running down the track, but she did a lot better that time. Uh, spun out of the hole pretty hard, uh, but I stayed in it, and uh, we'll see what we did here. Yeah, I got a little crowd here tonight, not, not much, but it's kind of cool. Give you a shot of what it looks like coming back up to the tower. All right, Charlie's getting ready to head out of here in the Model A. Just cranking up the timing there, I think. Playing with her, getting her right. And we're gonna rock and roll. Yeah, 
had to stop taking a picture of her coming back from the drags here, out here in the hops fields. Uh, they grow your hops for your beer right here. So, pretty cool. Yeah, we took a couple pictures of Charlie's uh, car on the way home. And uh, we had a good time at the drags. Uh, pretty disappointed with the 15.75 pass that the truck made. I know it'll do a lot better than that. It's just got that little Edelbrock carburetor on there. Uh, I'm going to swap it out for a Holly, and then we'll go over in the night when they've uh, sprayed a little traction uh, VHT down on the track there so we can get some traction. And we should get the truck into the 14s pretty easily, and then we'll go from there. We've got another motor we can swap in it, but uh, I don't think we're going to do that. It's just a good, reliable, fun truck to drive. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Rusty Duck Garage, and if you would, I'd sure like it if you'd hit that subscribe button and that like button. And we'll catch you next time at Rusty Duck Garage. Thank you.